Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this uh, old video you're gonna find a two brief uh, readings which are career and relationship to your representative star sign that refers to the week 13th to 18th of July 2020 and uh, as usual if you do want a personal reading you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and another thing is that I have um, made the tarot class the tarot class a flash sale but I never announced it to you so you who are following me on YouTube you never knew about that it's 30% off and in order to get to this uh, to this sale uh, you have to message me on my uh, Facebook page and I'm gonna sort you out from there so uh, with uh, that being said, the sale is uh, on for one more week. And with that being said, laid back and enjoy the show. Right, so uh, we have Capricorn uh, on our hands now. Oh my God. Uh, I dropped the car. Yeah, we do have Capricorn on our hands now. And uh, let's have a look first and foremost what they are to experience in terms of their uh, in terms of their career so let's uh, let's shuffle the cards give them a good refill right so the first card for uh, your week here capricorn in terms of career that is going to be the page of pentacles i'm moving next uh, Moving next, we do have the Eight of Cups, uh, followed by uh, the Page of Swords, and the last one here uh, that is to be the Nine of Wands. The story of your life, isn't it? <laughs> uh, that is because um, somebody I work with, it's Capricorn, and it's pretty much the story of his life. So, uh, what we do have here for you it is that uh, this week will present itself in terms of career with a very solid thing that you can chase, you know, like a private job, like a, uh, uh, a project, or like, a, uh, well, it's, uh, it can happen like a new job, right? But that if it is a, like a new job, it will be something that you have prepared by now. Okay, it's it's like you have contemplated on it. Probably you let nego negotiations about it and so on and so forth. Now, the 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 week itself is going to be used. Either word is not even struggling. It's more like opting. Okay, uh, opting to have the things uh, to a mere perfection. And I don't know if that's possible, and that is exactly the thing that is going to drive you mad. I mean, from within, you're going to be a, a quadrant of rage. It is because you're going to have that person there. This is very, very insubordinate. And oh my God, that's why I said the story of your life, isn't it? If you're watching this, I love you too. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, but, but the thing is, guys, that uh, this... Um, this person, and regardless of how ridiculous they may sound, with what they are asking and what they are saying, you know, and in generally what they are doing, because that, that's mainly the thing that uh, uh, it will it will scrape down your nerves, is that you you would think that they do a mistake after a mistake. I don't know how to say it. You know, it's just a shenanigan after a shenanigan. That's not necessarily true. Now, you need to know that these people, they are... <laughs> and I'm kind of like, all right, now, a... I don't know if the word is bragging, but you need to know that these people, they are a unique thinkers, okay? That, that is with the Page of Swords. And their statements uh, may sound a little bit rush. Their statements may sound without having any ground whatsoever, but they do. I, it's just uh, what that person did not done properly is elaborate themselves enough so you can understand them. And this is where the whole conflict resides in, right? Uh, that being said, uh, the whole thing at the end, uh, it's going to revolve around you both or making the necessary adaptations and changes in order to establish the mutual goal. 
So ultimately at the end we do have a happy ending where you both set sail toward the sunset and live happily ever after. But the process of getting there, uh, it will be aggravating for you, okay? So yeah, it's, uh, you have to prepare yourself to uh, have a uh, obnoxious and as well, a, a anxious was the word that I was searching for, a week. But no matter what, you do not give up on the original idea, on the thing that you have placed so much work behind, on the thing that you have put so much devotion and dedication behind as well, because it, do, it, it, it does work it, okay? We do have the Page of Pentacles at the start, and you also have uh, all of it, all that there is into it. I like people, like, for example, investors, like, uh, for example, as well, I don't know, co-workers, bosses, uh, nobody has any idea how far that thing can go. And believe me, that thing can go for a, a very, very long run. It will prove itself much more beneficial and lucrative than any of you have anticipated. So it's worth sticking by it. And like I said, for those who are looking for a job with, the, with those cards, should you find yourself a job, it's a job that you do have a very big experience and you have prepared yourself for it, for quite some time and even you have negotiated some kind of a terms beforehand. So that was uh, in terms of your career. Now let's uh, have a look how your relationship life develops. Right, so um, within your relationship life, now the first card that we do have is going to be the Ace of Swords, followed by the Fool card on the second position, moving with the Three of Wands. And the last one, uh, wow, that is going to be the Hangman. So it's not as messy as with Sagittarius, but we do have certain aspects here within this reading that are a bit. Um, not exactly worrisome, but a thing that you would probably like to bypass moving forward. But alas, that would not be much possible throughout the week itself. So again, the cards before we dive into this. That is going to be the Ace of Swords, the Four, the Three of Wands and the, um, the Hangman. Right. Uh, what we do have here for you Capricorn is that that week is going to be rather very very serious In fact, I would say that there is nothing to do with love whatsoever uh, Or with emotions if you will uh, whatsoever now the week itself is going to address the uh, the circumstances And in generally the situations that you simply don't like and that you wish them to be different, okay, so that kind of aspects this uh, this reading here is going to, or, or that week is going to address. And you're gonna talk about it and talk about it and talk about it with the person you had to, okay? Either your suitor, your wife or your husband, boyfriend or a girlfriend, regardless, until you have it right. And, and don't get me wrong here with that reading, you, you can have it the way you want it to have it. It is just as long as, you know, you do not give up. Now the full card into the second position, as with Sagittarius, it speaks that you should try to develop what you already have, rather than a opt for anything new that comes about. Now, uh, the thing at the end unfolds in a little bit of a peculiar way, uh, with the hangman. Now, I, that card was a big surprise coming in into this follow-up, and what does it speak about? It is that you and whomever else is involved into your situation is going to recognize that, yeah, it's true, things cannot go the same way, but at the same time, the change has to happen from both of you, or rather like the adaptation has to happen from both of you. How that can happen? Well, through adopting a new perspective, recognizing that things aren't going anywhere with the current state 
of the relationship or at certain aspects. It doesn't have to be with the entire relationship, okay? It, it's just a certain aspects. For example, you wanna go on a vacation and everybody pulls in their own direction, so that thing isn't going anywhere, but the relationship could develop in a very good way. So um, here you both are need to uh, change your perspectives in regards to the uh, enterprise that that reading manifests into. It could be manifesting in your entire uh, love life and should you be single that means that you need to change perspective and you are going to change perspective on its own accords in regards to your love life entirely okay and by changing that perspective that will allow you to have the situation situations I'm sorry completely matching your expectations so in other words you are going to be harmonious with yourself you're going to be harmonious with your current relationship or harmonious with the fact that you are single thus far at least for that week so yeah who you who are single uh, it doesn't look like that throughout this week things are going to change much for you that is but you are going to the very least recognize a why and you are going to do if if it needs a mighty effort to uh, change that but those who are in a relationship it's highly advisable with those cards to challenge yourself and the relationship itself to get a new height for example if you are dating maybe it's time that you start speaking about engagement okay children living together something like that again the perspective needs to be changed the perspective of that we are dating needs to change into a perspective we can be a family right the perspective of we are just a friends needs to change into a perspective hey we can be together so uh, and that happens once again i don't know if i emphasize on it enough but that that can happen only through a honest and open and pretty straightforward conversations with a person with no other way you try to presume you try to give a hint that hint is going to fall into deaf ears into deaf ears oh my god that is so hard for me to say yeah you got to be honest you got to be open and you got to be brutally straightforward okay so candor is the way forward not a game and not a uh, how can I say a predispositions not a game of a cat and mouse so that being said Capricorn this was your a weekly tarot readings hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and uh, we may see each other uh, around just get me uh, let me get a, a control of my camera so yeah we, we hopefully we're gonna see each other around and until then bye